got the New York Knicks staying in New York to uh, face off against the Brooklyn Nets. Knicks laying four and a half technically on the road here. Nets plus 163 on the money line. Total sitting at 223. Yeah, I mean, maybe this is a trappy line. Uh, maybe some people would be worried about the Knicks looking ahead to the Nuggets. Not me. I'll, I'll take the Knicks minus four and a half. I mean, Brunson has scored at least 30 points in his last four games. Um, you know, trading RJ Barrett seemingly great move here for the Knicks. Um, I, I like fading this Nets team. I could see how maybe someone would talk themselves into the nets of like, Hey, you know, they were on this road trip. They ran, they did randomly show up against the Lakers uh, on Friday night, but still you look at the nets. They are, they're two and eight, their last 10. I don't think they have much of a home court advantage here, especially against the Knicks and Tom Thibodeau teams aren't really ones that, you know, will look ahead. I think this nets team or sorry, this Knicks team can, can beat up on a, on a nets team, which they're just much better than. So four and a half, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, feels about right. I think I picked it last night, maybe four and a half th- or four, three and a half. It's moved a little, nothing crazy. So I'll still ride with the Knicks here. Noobs, any thoughts, Knicks nets. It's just kind of a funky game. I'm going to wait and see what happens with Isaiah Hartenstein. If he's in, I do like this spot for the Knicks. We'll probably try to find a way to bet an under of some sort. But the Nets, again, similar to Indiana in the three-point shooting, the variance is such a big deal. You know, in games they cover, um, the Nets shoot about 39 threes at about a clip of just over 38%. When they don't cover, the threes are down to about 33. They only shoot 34%. And those sound like small margins. When you put it together, it, or that's you're talking about a five, six-point variance, sometimes as much as high as seven or eight from from kind of that shooting spread so with Hartenstein out it's hard for me to trust the Knicks again this could just end up being a track meet and Brooklyn is fine doing that running up and down the floor and if they're hot from three tonight they could win this game outright so if Hartenstein's in we'll look for the under maybe look for the Knicks but for now I got nothing uh Chris any thoughts here uh Knicks Nets yeah I just have a bit big red flag on the uh the Nets right now I'm not going to touch this team uh, because the other net, the Lakers against the Nets, you know, there's, there, there has just been no reason to want to support the Nets really over the past month or so. And then all of a sudden they show up in L.A., they win yeah. that game, they face the Clippers, and they were ahead for most of that game, I believe, up by 15 points entering the fourth quarter. Not sure what happened to them in that fourth quarter, outscored against the Clippers 41-15. to uh, But that kind of variance, that kind of volatility, that's just something that I want to stay away from. The Knicks team, again, as Alex mentioned, without Hartenstein tonight. Uh, you know, so there sh- should be some holes in their front court. Are the Nets the kind of team that can, that can take advantage of that? Not necessarily. Another good point by Alex, too, is the threes in this game. Both teams like to take a lot of threes. Uh, maybe this game just really depends on who's making more of those in this contest. But there's just a lot that I don't want to touch in this one. I'll just say, as always, if Sean is on the Knicks or if Sean likes the Knicks, maybe we just support the Knicks because you've been really good at that. But Nick, I can't touch this one. Nick Swisper, yes. Uh, noobs, not much has changed since you were last on the show. Still, still randomly talking myself into the Knicks. And, uh, you know, yeah, my, my Knicks. Good to have an edge. Yes, my Knicks ATS record is really uh, carrying my uh, overall record here. So, log it up for me. Knicks laying four and a half. 